Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about workspaces which is really window management. Now this is particularly useful if you have multiple monitors or if you've got something like a big 4k monitor. I'm just going to be doing this on the MacBook so while it may not show it to the best of its abilities it's definitely a really useful thing and it's pretty straightforward. So this is available in Cubase Pro and Cubase Artist. It's not in the other versions and it's just workspaces here. So you can see I've already got one set up. I'm not going to click this because this would do exactly what I don't want it to. So let's say some of the time you want to have your window set up like this. So let's say we'll get rid of the inspector. And we just want our window like this. And maybe we want the just to see just the stereo out. So we're just going to have the mixer like that, etc. So we've got it. We're being particular. You know, we want it a certain way. And other times we want it a different way. And moving those windows around can be a pain in the neck so what's a nice thing to do and yes i know i could put this in the right zone i'm just showing you that it does multiple windows at the same time right so let's just create a workspace so you go to workspaces and we're going to do add workspace and i'm just going to call this one minimal plus output and we'll do a global workspace so this will appear in all projects this is a part of cubase rather than part of a project so there we do that and then let's say some other times we want to reopen the inspector and we're going to move our windows around like that and we're going to have a bit more mixer to to show even though i know there's no tracks etc and we can create another workspace here so we'll call it half and half and now you can just switch between them really quickly. So you just go to workspaces, go to minimal output, and you see we get that exact setting there. We can go here, get half and half, etc. I can go to 1080, which is the one I didn't want to click earlier, which is just my starting point for any of these projects, etc. And if you have a keyboard with appropriate shortcuts, so option and num1, option and num2, option and num3. I'm on a MacBook, I don't have a number keyboard, but if I did have a keyboard with a separate numpad, you'd be able to select them just with a key command. It works really well, and obviously here as well, if you want to get rid of them, you can get rid of them easily. Just click on them there, and then delete that. Let's go back to 1080, or minimal output. In fact, let's get rid of that as well, and then we've come through the full circle. So there you go. There's workspaces very quickly. That's your quick tip for today. So I hope you found this useful and if you have, please like and subscribe and watch more videos on the channel and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.